Hello out there, my name is David Show, and you are welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Please do not forget to like, please subscribe. Also, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss a video from me. You are welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Today, I want to talk about Osinaji Umwanchuku. You could remember the gospel singer that was killed by her husband, Peter Umwanchuku. You know, the woman died as a result of domestic violence. The woman's corpse is still in the morgue, but the morgue attendants they are saying something funny that she sing every night in the morgue every night they hear her sing that popular song Ekwe Me, Ekwe Me so the officials of the morgue have come out to debunk that claim so I want to read this news from Punch newspaper the headline says National Hospital dismisses claims of Osinashi Skop singing Ekwe Me at night you know, it was the mock attendant that said this. They said they used to hear her voice that she was singing that a popular song that says Ekweme, Ekweme. The National Hospital in Abuja on Monday dismissed claims that the course of popular singer Osinashi Mwachuku was singing Ekweme while in the mortuary. The spokesman for the hospital, Dr. Taiwo Anstrup, said there was no proof that Osinashi's body was singing in the morgue. Speaking with newsmen, Anstrup said somebody dead couldn't be singing while in the morgue. Osinashi, a chorister at the Nunamis International Gospel Center, died a few months ago, allegedly due to domestic violence she suffered from her husband. Peter Umwanchuku. Following her death, her corpse was deposited in the National Hospital Mortuary. Reports added that mortuary attendants alleged that Oshinashi's corpse was singing a hit track, Ekweme, in the middle of the night. Reacting to the report, Anstrup said, Medically, there is nothing like that. It is just an imagination of people. Somebody that is dead and is a corpse. How would such a person be singing? It is an imagination that may be due to the church she attended while she was alive. And the songs may just be giving people ideas. It just can't be proven in any way. You know, this is one of the officials of the hospital that is talking here. This can't be true. It, it could be as a result of the imagination of the attendant. At so I want to read from the comment sessions. First comment says, Pele Amstros, medically it is impossible. The lady was Jehovah God's instrument of praise, and with Jehovah God, he is only because his son. Jesus Christ, it is possible because she is only asleep. Another comment says, Jesus Christ, are you for real? Another comment says, with God, all things are possible. Another comment says, I'm surprised. One that the geo has not claimed the miracle, you know, that the miracle that she was singing in the mug, that one geo has not come out to claim it. Another comment says, bring your money, I will sell the world to you. You can't believe anything, bro. <laughs> so people are just commenting, but this comment caught my attention. The comment says, you can't deny the attendant what they had. She's singing even in death, but inside their heads and not from the mug. I also hear her loud, clear inside my head sometimes. They can be pardoned for the conviction being inside the mug themselves. You know, these people might be lovers of Osinashi when she was alive, and they've had him times without number. So, being the attendants in the mug now, they were claiming that they hear her singing this song, you know, is as a result of their imagination. Another comment, exactly, my brother, it is difficult to be where a corpse lies right now without hearing a song in your mind if you love it as many Nigerians did. And imagine she is still alive and singing. May a gentle soul rest in the Lord's bosom. Amen. So, this attendant that claimed they, are, they hear her sing a popular a song, Ekweme, Ekweme, is as a result of their imagination. Probably they love her song, they listen to her when she was alive. Now, imagine a corpse residing where they walk. You know, that a corpse is messing up with their mentality that they are hearing her in the morgue. They are hearing her every night. However, do not be surprised. 
that if all of those who bought Osinachi's video music when she was alive, all those who listened to her song passionately and still does now, I also seen Osinashi sing to them in their dream. You can't dispute this. Reason being that they were in love with her song. They were in love with Osinashi's personality. So this thing they could be hearing Osinashi sing to them in their daily activities. Reason being that they love her. They love her song. They love the way she sang back then, especially with Igbo dialect when she was alive. All this thing as a result of their imagination, their state of mind. That is why they said, especially those mug officials, those mug attenders, that they say Oshina CC sing to them, especially our popular song Ekweme each night. This is totally impossible. You know, there is no relationship between somebody who is dead and somebody who is alive. There cannot be any interpersonal relationship with somebody who is dead and somebody who is alive. According to the Bible, the book of Hebrews, it says it is appointed for a man to die once after that the judgment. That is, there cannot be a relationship between the dead and the living. Somebody who is dead has gone and she has gone forever. All she has, has died and she has died forever. Thank God for this hospital official or morgue official that came out to also say something on this. It is totally impossible for her she has, she's corpse to be singing in the morgue. It could be those morgue officials, those morgue attendants were in love with her song when she was alive. So this thing is now messing up with their imagination that Oshina she sees thing to them at night. Even when they get home, they might be even hearing her singing. Why this happen is that because of the love they had towards her, because of the love they have to her song. So these mock attendants that are saying that Oshina she sees sing to them at night is just their state of mind messing up with their brain. There can never be any interpersonal relationship with somebody who is dead and somebody who is alive. You won't be surprised that even our family members, our loved ones, will still be even seeing her in their dreams. The reason for this is that because of how they cherish her song, because of how she carried herself while she was alive. My name is Zavishow and please don't forget to like, please subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you miss a video.